It's all blue, baby. It's all blue. Oh, man. I, I'm looking forward. I want to watch this here. Yeah, I, these splits are so nuts. Well, for the last time, <clears throat> I am going to reset my splits for any percent. Goodbye. It's been fun, and I never will <clears throat> reset this again for the foreseeable future. Goodbye, splits. This is it. We're done. Um, with that being said, I'm grinding any percent again tomorrow because we're still not there yet. Okay, I wonder what we talked about this run. Did we talk about anything fucked up? Or was it okay? I don't know. If if piss wasn't involved, I might be a little upset, but we'll see. Um, hold on. Oh, God. What was I doing? Chad, don't worry about why I have this camera so zoomed in. It's just something else I was messing with. <laughs> no, we're going to skip the reaction because I was crying like a bitch. <laughs> you know, men don't cry, fellas. No, I'm, I'm super happy. Oh, man. I'm very happy about it. It's just, it's, 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 it's just such a relief. It's been so difficult to do this. Um, I don't know where to put you guys. Maybe just in the trash. <laughs> Maybe over here. I don't know. <laughs> I'm joking, by the way. So, my goal. Since February of 2022, I have a spreadsheet. And the goal of the spreadsheet was how to get a sub 41. When I started, I had a 40... 41 46 my my actual goal hinged on whether or not my mental health would be good so i said i'm gonna get a sub 41 sub 41 is close enough to second place to where i'm gonna go for that and depending on my mental health i'm going to continue until it just deteriorates um and I'm going to continue till at least I get world record. 4039 was never my goal. Um, my goal was sub 41, second place, and then world record if my mental health was stable. Because this is very like demanding and it's been very challenging. It was never my goal to get a 3x. So the fact that I got a 3x not just a 3x a 36 makes me so happy i was worried that i was going to get a 40 45 and it was going to be a world record and that i would feel stuck and that i want to keep playing because my mental health is starting to deteriorate that's another reason why i'm so happy that this is done like i can feel it's it's my mental health only had like another month honestly i only had like another month of me before i broke down and just stopped playing so i'm really glad <clears throat> yeah it's not like you get it and all of a sudden three years later your eyes are fucked oh we're talking about lasik okay i was i was wondering what the world record conversation would be so yes um some people were right but great i'm sure but isn't that the world record like i said really hinged on my mental health so Um, it got to the point to where I almost would have felt slightly sad if I didn't get a 3x because this is like the next big milestone. I feel I'm so happy that I got my goal. We're just listening to, I don't want to listen to this asshole speak. I hate my own voice. Like a different world. Um, uh, Mavs, thanks for the two months. Um, yeah, I'm so happy, Drewski. Yeah, minus six definitely sounds Honestly, like for LASIK. this has been only like minus the hardest thing I've ever done in this game in the last 10 years, um, coming up on 11 years. And, and I have a ton of respect for Zeus and Behemoth but, um, for doing this grind years ago. Years that, like, um, Basically, I don't care if this time gets beaten because if anyone beats this time, they earned it. They deserve it 100%.
this is completely mentally exhausting. Oh, Chad, tell me you got rid of it. Yeah, if you're like minus six or worse, you're blind as hell without glasses. Okay, okay. Um, absolutely, this time can be beaten. I think um, Zost, Behemoth, if Zenny decides to grind this. Um, thank you for the, thank you for the bits. The 200. I, I'm I'm probably behind on a few things. Bechuga with 15 months. Uh, Boot Manning with the five gifted subs. Raising Beak with 200. Mask Off with the eight months. Uh, Spider Mets with the two months. I'm going to pause this because I do want to watch. Um, I want to see what happens. I'm, you know. Barista with 25 months. Ziggy with the 200 bits. Thank you. Con Con with the five gifted subs. Um, thank you, Con Con. Death Fist with 30 months. And Sother B with the nine months. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, I don't know. It's, it's just been, um, it's just been really hard. And, um, this grind has definitely taken a toll on me. And like I said, I, I do try to be positive and I always have, a, I, I try to have a growth mindset and I try to have an outlook that will improve my ability. But at the same time, it's been, uh, it's been really, 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 really exhausting. So it's just like, it felt like a weight was lifted off my shoulder, especially after losing so many runs to Torian. Okay, Metroid Prime, you need to get some music going here. What is this? My vision was just getting more and more. Um, why aren't my 25 gifted subs? What the heck? Thank you for the 25. Um, Maxim Sesh with the 25. I'm probably going to not, I'm not going to ignore you guys, but I do want to like watch this because this means a lot to me, I guess. But, um, I will try to get the stuff either during the best I can or, um, or afterwards. I'm closing my splits for the final time. Here we go. Here we go. Hold on. Ness. All right. These splits, any percent, they're gone. Never opening these bitches again. Get out of here. All right. Um, yeah, if you guys have questions about the run as well, let me know. Um, so, basically, my mindset when I started doing this grind, I... Um, I wanted to like not make, I wanted to not waste time. So in the past, like I didn't take it very seriously and I would just grind the game. But um, I wanted to like, like I said, have a growth mindset this time during this grind. I wanted to just think about every mistake as a possibility to learn. I wanted I just wanted to see what I was capable of. And I know that I'm in a position to where I, I do this full time. So that's also extremely nice. And I should, I should not take that for granted. So um, that's kind of how I started this grind up again. Yeah, I missed the BT skip. Um, there's really no notable RNG here. Just. Yeah, just a good early game so far. This is standard, like 439 is, is just a good bombs time. Um, thank you for the subs, everyone. Thank you, Eldritch and um, um, Eric. Thank you. Um, so, yeah, basically the whole time. Um, 
so here's what I did. So when I started it, I think it was a 4146. Um, Zost basically held the record for three years, I want to say. So this is a new record. Oh, it's dude. Zost just posted a run. He just retired. He just came out of retirement. He just beat it by 15 seconds. Oh. I would just have a heart attack and die. Um, yeah, very good early game. I, so here's what I did. Since the start of this grind, I, every PB that I got, I rewatched. I spent an hour plus just rewatching and I had a spreadsheet open. Every single PB that I did. And I PB'd a lot all the way down to this. And I would watch. I would look at every room, every mistake, write it down. Basically put a tick mark. Is there improvement here? Is there improvement there? And then I would practice. When I first started, I was practicing... It was like one to four hours a day offline. Um... It was a lot. I was practicing a ton offline and I would focus on just those mistakes and I would I would um, set up my splits to where they were just like my PB. So if I get ice beam at um, 17 minutes in one of my PBs, I would start my timer at 17 minutes and I would put little markers like bubble mountain you get here at this time. Um, you get to the wave beam at this time. You get to the elevator at this time. And then I would grind segments that were exactly matching my PB at the time. And I would see exactly where the little time saves were and those small, like, sub-segments in a segment. And I grinded... I would grind, like, ice to LN elevator 10 times. Just back to back to back. I would never reset because I developed faster uh, backup strats when I wouldn't reset. So I used the no reset strategy as a way to develop backup strats. And what I learned was I created like new baselines to where like I was improving so much to where I had a new baseline to what I could do, even if I was bad. So even if I made mistakes in runs, my new baseline was so much better than my PB that I could afford to make mistakes and still save time. I would grind every day like that. Every segment, every day. And when I got a new PB, oh, and with those splits, I would I would see how far I could take my gold down. Like, oh, I've, I've grinded this split 50 times in the last um, three weeks or two weeks or whatever. What is my gold? Oh, it's like a second and a half faster than my PB. Okay. Um, and yeah, I would just create a new baseline to where even if I was plus five seconds on my on my um, practice splits, I was minus three in the run. Um, so yeah, that's that's basically, that was my strategy the entire time. And I would just turn on like a podcast. I would turn on music and I would just zone out and just grind. It was boring sometimes. I didn't have fun sometimes, but I kept telling myself that I need to do deliberate practice and I need to focus on my mistakes. I need to focus on my room times. And, you know, so that's, that's, that was my, that's basically been my whole plan since um, I started again. And that's, I think that really is what excelled me a lot to get to this point. Um, a lot of people think, you know, well, not a lot of people say this anymore because I always kind of shit on this. I don't like the idea of talent. I'm not talented. Just put in a lot of hours. Um, that's it. That That's all it is. I'm not talented.
Um, so this was a great pattern. Obviously, it's a fast mid. This is my favorite pattern. So this was really nice to see. Yeah, so this is why I also have an insane amount of respect for Behemoth and Zost doing this years ago. Remember I said I didn't even think you played rooms fast enough to sub 41? Drewski, I think that was just your like fundamental misunderstanding of the game as a whole. But it is what it is. And that's also, that that drove me to make that, that theory task, funny enough, which I guess this time beat. Um, so yeah, this fan tune was great. My resources kind of sucked. Um, eight missiles is the bare minimum. So whenever I'm done with this fight, I look for about this amount of HP, even though I skipped the damage boost because I was very nervous. Um, eight missiles and as many super missiles as Fantine will give me. And at least bare minimum two power bombs, four power bombs minimum is best. So if you don't get at least three power bombs, you run the risk of being really fucked over like I was in my last PB with the tube. And then you lose even more time. So like not getting power bombs is a time loss. And then it, it like turns into a bigger time loss, which turns into a bigger time loss if you don't get RNG. So it just keeps like, you know, it, it just can spiral out of control. Yeah, it just, it snowballs. So, um, luckily I had a good backup strat for the attic. I use a super instead of, um, let me show you guys here. I'll fast forward. So normally it's, um, this one, one missile there. I look at the spark to see what my timing is. It's three missiles normally, but then I just use a super to maintain my jump height. Um, Use a super, maintain my jump height, and my visual cue is always the same there. Um, but anyways, I knew it would be about the same. Um, and yeah, at this point, I was pretty nervous. I knew the time was good, but I've also been on a lot of paces lately. So, yeah. We just got this. Any more runs tonight? <laughs> Dude, it makes me feel sick thinking if I was doing more runs. I'm done. I'm done with this category forever. Okay, not forever, but I'm done with this category for the next three to six years. I'm, I'm not running this category for another three to six years. I just beat the world record by nine seconds. I'm done. Okay. This is just too stressful, man. That's why I like started crying at the end. It was just too much. That's your excuse? Okay, you guys still have it in you. Thanks, everyone. Appreciate you. Um, okay, so nothing special here. What I look for um, is basically if I have one power bomb, I want to have two missiles to farm the crabs or I need to use a super missile. But luckily I had seven and four. It sucks not having missiles because one thing this does affect is your item, your, your, um, item selecting so you need to constantly remember that you need to change your item selecting muscle memory um radio enchilada with the five gifted subs peach tang with the five months um i want to watch this so i'm gonna pause uh functional monkey with the 11 months miyogi with the 21 revo with the five gifted subs um, Internet Child with 5,000 bits. Thank you so much, Internet Child, for the 5,000 bits. The one night I leave for drinks, you world record. <laughs> oh, we're rewatching it, so. Um, stuffed Chicken Wings with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much, everyone. Oh. All right. Um... I've been messing this up lately. So this is, I can explain this um, for people that are interested. I've been messing this damage boost up. So basically this is one of the harder parts when you start running. Um, basically these are different time damage boosts. The way this game works is if you damage boost first frame, Samus's position is um, higher vertically. Um, so what you need to actually do is you need to have a high quick damage boost off of this spike running further to the left 
You need to land further on that platform. I keep messing this up. Is, this, is there an easy way to pause? Space bar, okay. Um, so yeah, you basically, if you look, it's basically just first frame damage boost. And then this is, as long as you land in the middle, you won't take a hit because your iframes run out the moment that you leave this bug. So my iframes are already gone right there. So, or else I would have hit that. And then for this, um, use, oh, is it for Windows Media? No, I'm, I'm not watching the YouTube video. Um, for this, you have to delay. So if you look at my inputs, I still haven't pressed left. Now I press left after Samus goes downwards. You see that? You see how long that took? So this is a really challenging room at first, and I've been messing this up. Anyways, if you guys are curious, it's fun to explain some of this stuff. Because there's a lot that goes into this shit. Um, I do want to make a tutorial with all this, though, and break it down. That damage, This damage boost also sucks because it's blind. You have to press left, hold left for a certain number of frames, assume you know where you're at, and then press back right, moonwalk properly, hold left for the proper distance, and then back right to not hit the ledge. So it's like an invisible moonfall. Um, I, I will. I want to make a tutorial. Basically, like how I run this game in every visual cue I look at because every single room I'm looking at something. I'm looking at Samus's feet, I know. Um, I'm looking at her jump height right there. For here, I look at um, basically, I try not to hit the ceiling. Sometimes I do hit the ceiling. Um, you know. There's visual cues everywhere that I'm looking at. Da, 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 da. Thanks for the 500 bold one. Um, Kovac with the 13. Thank you. I, I appreciate that. Oat. Uh, straight jacket. Thanks for the 16. Uh, I'm sorry to hear that straight jacket. <laughs> uh, late night with the 1000. Thank you very much. Oh, okay. I didn't know you changed your name, actually. Thank you so much for that 1,000. Um, this is a little bit weird, so I mess this up sometimes. This strat is awful. You down back, you let go of your inputs entirely, but you have to let go of um, right first. You press R, you shoot, you press down, and you press back right to down back. It's too many inputs. It just sucks. But if you if you mess up like the order of operations, you um, you end up just going to the right. Um, this is always annoying as well, but I've been hitting it lately. The secret to this is like you just gotta be like a quick down grab. So in this game, there's down grabs, which is the, sh the smallest hitbox other than morph. So the longer you hold down on a ledge, the less run speed you'll get. So you need to like let go immediately over a ledge to get more run speed or else you can't clear that. Um, Yes, we're rewatching it right now. So I didn't get any drops from these. It's 20% drop, 24% uh, drop chance for supers. I do also have a spreadsheet for that as well. I have a whole like order of operations for amount of ammo for this and like the probability that I'll enter Bubble Mountain with this many or ice with this many. And, um, you know, this tied my fastest ice beam time, I think, as well. Again, this this time is insane because my PB doesn't break the tube. So, it's, I was I was very nervous at this point already. I was trying to not look at the timer. Um, 
Yeah, I'm not going to explain every mechanic, but some mechanics are fun. This, if you see me miss this, which I might miss it here, it's because this is just based on your position when you on morph and when you press forward. There's just pixels. Some pixels work, some pixels don't. It didn't work, so it's just random chance. I just have to assume it's going to work every single time. There are some positions that work more frequently than others, but... Um, this, I'm making like really silly mistakes because I'm nervous. Um, luckily, little mistakes like this, like I said, are... It helps that I've practiced these segments like I was talking about earlier because these little mistakes are kind of factored in um, to where I just keep going. I don't think about a mistake. I just... 507? Yeah, it wasn't good, I know. Um, this, I normally don't farm. I hate this farm. I've done this testing extensively. This is slower. Normally, I just run through the door, but I really was hoping for an insane super missile hookup. Um, which I think I only got one and then two missiles, I want to say. Wait, do you guys get hit with ads? I'll wait if you got hit with ads. Oh, I think you did. Oh, no. I did world record, yes. Don't wait for the non-subs. I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait a minute. Um, it should be almost good. Okay. All right, you guys good? You guys back? All right, let's continue. Um, nothing really special here. Um, hey, Mystery Band, thank you very much for the five gifted subs. I might have missed some stuff, but I will get to it. Um... I'm trying to reminisce in this in this time because this is my last run for a long time. Joe Co Joe Hawk with the 25er. Thank you very much for the 25. Really, really appreciate that. Thank you. Uh, Maven, thanks for the gifted sub. Thank you, everyone. RBO next. Hell no. I'm taking a break and we're chilling and having fun. Um, this sucked. I actually got terrible RNG here. Um, so th the drop chance for this is um, you expect on average one super per farm. Um, yo, thanks for the 7,000. Uh, sad I missed the run, but congrats. I've been saving bits from Twitch surveys. Isn't that from, wasn't that from like 2014? You could make that much for Twitch surveys? Thank you very much for that. Holy cow. I'm sorry to drain your 10 years of surveys, but thank you so much. Um, so I jumped through the door because it fixes the transition. And then what I look at here is actually kind of, I, I look at basically the background and then I wait for Samus to get over the top of the bugs. It is a pretty difficult shot. If you shoot too early, you can sometimes hit only a couple of the bugs. So you have to hit like in the middle. Um, got terrible RNG. So at this point, I was very worried that we were fucked because um, five super missiles generally isn't enough. How it works is if you enter um, Lauren Orfair with six super missiles, you can expect that you'll leave with full from the Metal Pirates because you get four or five super missiles on average. So a part of like the strategy for me was always with that in mind, um, six super missiles. So you basically, for the ideal amount, you want eight leaving, you use two super missiles or seven, you use five missiles on the door. Um, so we were two missiles shy. So we needed a slightly above average luck. How do you hop over the little missiles? Um, I'm not sure actually, I just kind of, 
I jump over and I just assume when I'm over the missiles and I let go of down, which kills my momentum. That's about it. I mean, it's, yeah. Um, thank you for the 1500. I know, I know. Thank you, thank you. What strats to manage your nerves at this point? Um, basically in my head, I'm telling myself that I've done this before. It's no big deal. And that every room just needs to be played out the way I've practiced. <clears throat> That's basically just all I tell myself. Um, thank you for the 500. So at this point, when I get nervous, I go, okay, I need to hit my first tap because I've been messing this up. I need to make sure my first tap is almost immediately after my stutter, like with the way I uh, short charge here, because I, I tend to mess this up when I'm nervous. So I know I have to like tap pretty soon. Um, and then my second tap, I say it's around the power bomb a little bit past. It's no big deal. There's nothing to worry about. And in this, I'm always nervous. I like I always flick the R button from nerves. You can see it. And in my head, I go, the inputs are just down left as quick as I can, because there's two things that can happen here. You do this, which is great, and you have more frames. So you basically press down and left on the very edge before you, you miss it. And then that makes you fall or you stay up top and then you see me go into morph ball and then I do a damage boost. I do a very specific damage boost where I hold right. I take damage and then press back left. That that damage boost keeps Samus lower, which avoids that. You see Samus hit that block. If you don't do what I said, you end up actually hitting that and then you you run out of frames. So at this point, I only have like four frames left, uh, four to five frames left, I'm sure. If I go into morph and I do what I was saying, you have like a couple frames left. So you have to do like a proper damage boost, which is a lot more difficult because you have to hold forward into a projectile. I'm pretty sure those act as projectiles and projectiles are the hardest things to damage boost off of because there it's a very short window of frames. Um, <clears throat> Chip, thanks for the 56. Sheeples, thank you for the really, tier one. No, I'm done with SMI and all those ROM hacks. We'll talk about that. Um, yeah. Um, Basically this, um, I don't know how I even control nerves. I've done this, I've done this segment 500 to a thousand times offline in practice. This, this whole segment for me has adapted a lot from when I first started. Um, so it's definitely interesting. I never used to jump through this door. This is a minor frame save at the cost of inconsistency. Um, unfortunately I didn't get a high power bomb. Let me explain how this works and why this room is so difficult in the worst room in the game, especially at a high level, just real quick. So when you land on this, if I get a smooth down grab and I run a pixel too far to the right, Samus's jump height is too small to hit the blocks and you your run is almost dead and you lose a ton of time if you don't get the backup. And even if you get the backup, you lose a ton of time. So you have to run a pixel before that happens because this power bomb needs to be as high as possible. This is too low. It needs to be like a block higher or half a block higher. And then this turns into a legless room. This room, because I didn't run to the right, another two pixels or three pixels, I lost like an entire second. So this room is super stressful <clears throat> at a higher level. Um, I lost over a second in that room because of that. So it's a, it, you have to weigh the, the benefits because if you go too far to the right to optimize more, you run the risk of destroying your entire run because of one pixel too far to the right. Um, um, this has been annoying, but that's fine. Also, that RNG was really weird too. Power bomb drop and nothing is a very uh, small chance of happening. Um, I'll talk about that stock. Um, basically, it's just not as fast. But yeah, um, it is, but it's not faster. Slav. 
Um, so this, basically, there's a manip into this room. So the manip, <clears throat> I can explain it real quick. Um, you, you bounce, and then you lay a bomb immediately after you bounce. And then you lay the bomb hugging this and immediately on morph right here. If you do this properly, you get a big hop from this. If you don't, you get a small hop and you take 40 damage, which can, if would have, if I would have messed up the manip, my run probably would have been dead and I'd still be grinding. Um, and then laying that power bomb, the further, basically you just want to hit that one block, which can be very challenging. Um, this is stupid. You just have to do kegos. You take damage. It's extremely tight. Jojody with the 10 gifted subs. Thank you so much. Um, Metal Pirates is kind of weird. I'm not going to explain everything that can happen. Here I did kind of a backup. I got above average RNG, which was nice because I didn't get shit from these speed bugs. Also, this is a strat I just came up with the other night because I made a mistake in my run. Um, so I came up with this, what, like a week ago? To where, why don't I just farm these bugs from underneath? So I shoot at a very specific time to hit both. I got a super missile, which was clutch, and then um, a health, which was it was nice after. Um. So we got the we got the proper proper strat. We got the we got enough supers. Thank you for the two hundred. Uh, TJ, thanks for the gift sub. Um. So at this point, this is a very difficult room, and it always stresses me out. Um, so you need to kill this one to reduce lag and then you need to get far enough to the left to you shoot forward down kill wait for the drop you have to down grab this very cleanly and then you have to press down forward angle shoot pretty much right there or else you don't hit this uh, orb to the left. Grab that, or grab the power bomb, and then damage boost off of that. We'll grab in power bomb, land on that on the edge. You have to land right on the edge for enough run speed. Um, and then yeah, and farm these guys. I didn't get a super missile, which was fine because I got some health. Um. So this opening, I'm not going to explain this whole thing, but this is uh, this is also very stressful. I I struggle with this a lot from time to time. Um, basically, it's a very strict timing on pressing forward, jumping, letting go of jump, making making sure Ridley's at the proper um, height, um, basically the proper X Y position, or else Ridley won't cooperate if you get the proper RNG for it. Um, luckily that was good <clears throat> um and then you just take your missiles you take um uh whatever you have for supers times two so you, you take 30 minus whatever your super count is times two minus one so in this case it's 15 shots if you, have an, if you have nine, it's 11. So once Ridley turns red, I start counting my shots. So that's, um, it's 15 shots after. Um, there are some setups, but they're very difficult. Yeah, I think I shot one extra because I was nervous, Eddie. And the last thing I wanted to do was fuck up my best potential pace. Is right here. Ridley was dead, but I wanted to be sure. Yeah. <sighs> um, a super missile does 600. A charge shot does 300. Um, so at this point, you just hope for really good drops. Um, I got good health, bad supers. Um, and that kind of dictates my room. Um, 70 flat is very good. My best Ridley time I got yesterday, actually, in a run. Or no, was it today? No, it was yesterday. It was a 65-27. Which is probably the best in any run, I want to say. Alright, see ya, gamer girl. Um, Farm these. You just hope for more drops. This, 
Um, you have to do like a one tap short charge. You have to shoot at a specific time and not hit that ledge right there. Um, yeah. I did, yes, I'm done. I'm done with the category. This this kind of sucks too. So if you're quick enough, I, f I found that this is actually consistent. Um, and it's probably the same way that you enter. So as long as you run forward quick enough, um, you do all this. I always focus on in super clean ledge grabs here. So as long as this one's clean and this one's super clean, which they were, this side hopper generally goes to the right. So it's kind of a manip. And then you can instantly damage boost off. Then you do a short hop mock ball here. Yeah, easy peasy. <clears throat> and then, yeah. This, a lot of people ask why you don't use a power bomb. The reason is because you're manipulating the position of the key hunters. Um, so I lay the bomb. I go, you can see the visual cue on the left. It's that statue. You wait a couple frames. You press back left. And then this sets up this uh, setup here. So you just down grab. I buffer a jump. Um, that has to be super clean or else I would have taken a hit there. <clears throat> and then these should be in these positions. Um, yeah. At this point, I was really nervous because... <laughs> Thank you, EOD. Um, this was definitely the best pace I've ever been on. Also, was this... Yeah, this was. Is this, was this might be one of the best Varia times as well. I can't fucking... I'm so goddamn happy that we're done. I never have to think about trying to get another fucking sub-17 Varia. And this was a 26.53, I think. Um, this escape is kind of stressful because this all has to be timed. Um, the moment you enter the room, the uh, enemies are moving off screen. So the reason we don't lay a power bomb here is because then it won't line up and it's not as fast. So sub-27, sub what did I say? Yeah. Um, so basically I knew that this was a good position and you get a really clean uh, boost sub 27 yeah sorry I'm out of it my brain's fried right now um, that was a good super drop that's ideal um, health would have also been kind of nice there a little bit of nerves are okay because you learn to control them too much nerves and my hand started shaking really bad towards the end, and I'll talk about when it happened. Um, and it almost actually made me fail the run at the end. Um, Frenzy with the 10,000 bits. Thank you very much. What a ride. I feel so happy for you, man. You worked <clears throat> your ass off for it and blew my mind today with this run. I really get goosebumps for someone else's speed run. Thank you very, very, very much for that. Um, also, Offsprung with a six months. Um, Fuddle with a 20. Metro Music with 200 bits. Russell with the 200 bits. TJ with the gifted sub. Um, okay. Oh. Magnus. <laughs> with the 25. Thank you. For the 25 gifted subs. I'm going to lose my voice. I'm going to pass out, I think. Thank you. Yeah, that's Magnus Carlson. Oh, I really appreciate it. Might need to turn the AC on or something. I'm a blackout. Oh. Thank you very much. Um, Fantisto, thanks for the gifted sub. Okay. Um, so this. Um, you just hope for good drops. Um, there's a couple of different strats you can do. I always go for this strat, and this strat sucks ass. I hate it. Um, I can oh, I can just hold space bar. You shoot, and then you do a mock ball. It's it's extremely tight, but it saves enough time to to go for. It's enough of a risk. Uh. Um, 
This is actually a pretty tough room. It's a lot tighter than it appears. You have to fire two missiles at a very specific point here. Shoot immediately after your two missiles to open the door, and then you have to jump at this pretty much exact time. Any later, you hit the lip. Any earlier, you hit the top lip. Uh, Mike with the 18. Um, this setup, I shoot down because there's um, things flying around off screen. So this reduces lag. And then what I do here is I wait for Kray to show his eyes. I on morph into the spikes. So Samus flashes every other frame, which reduces the lag further. So then, um, yeah, it just is a fast room. Um, I do a very specific timed damage boost here. Um, off screen damage boost off the spikes to collect drops. Um, and yeah, this time is insane. I shouldn't have looked at the timer because this is the fastest I've ever seen anyone get to Varia. Uh, music makes it. Thank you very much. <clears throat> um, bridge burners. It's because it reduces lag. Um. <sighs> Yeah, I know. I, I started getting um, quite shaky here, but I also just kept telling myself that... Um, basically, I just tell myself that I've worked hard enough to, to do this, and let's just do it room by room. I don't want to tell myself that I deserve anything. So I just tell myself that, you know... Did I work hard enough or not? Let's just do what I can. Um, got the mock ball. Um... It was fine. I was hoping for a super, but yeah, I'm I'm a little bit mentally exhausted right now. There's a lot going on. <laughs> um, this is a lot harder than it appears. Um, this is all based off of ion morph on the elevator, and where ion morph and how I see if I'm ahead or behind the elevator or in the middle determines exactly where I press run in this upcoming room. There's actually a, uh, a bush here you can see on the ground right in front of Samus. And that's the visual cue. So I press run ahead of the bush if I was in the middle of the elevator. If I'm a little bit before the elevator, it's further to the left. If I'm after the elevator, it's further to the right. So this has to be within two frames. There's like two frames of discrepancy here. Uh, no grid, thanks for the gifted subs. Um, so basically in practice you look for a 40 or a 41 room time and then i know that i'm going to have the 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 highest jump to make it to this ledge or else you don't make it uh squirrel thanks for the five um this is also a frame perfect jump um what i do for this is i hold l and it seems to give me a better visual cue so you have to press jump in the last possible frame <sighs> to get this um, I was thinking about saving health here, but I decided just to go for it. <clears throat> um, this movement is for uh, lag reduction. Um, no. Yeah. This room I've optimized all hell. I'd like to think that I'm pretty solid at this room. <laughs> that was pretty, pretty clean. In this, I'm always super nervous because you have to react to four different patterns and you have to react almost instantly. So right here, I have to start right here. I have to figure out what this pattern is. Um, and this is down right. So then I start, I fire three and then I run to the right. Um, if I had six missiles, I would have fired six missiles and saved two supers. But Thank you, everyone. Um, this mock ball, just a specific jump timing. Um, then you get the you get the mock ball under the E tank. Um, this, I was super nervous. I was thinking in my head that this is the time I'm gonna miss full happy. This is it. It's all over. And you can see I get nervous because of the way I tap the A button on the uh, controller cam or the controller display. I started to get like very jittery. Um, 
because that's also a pretty specific timing. Also, oh man, I'm so glad I hit Spark Suit here. I was so nervous because Spark Suit's a double frame perfect trick, and if you're a frame off, you lose your run. Um, luckily, we hit it, but. Um, this is all pretty specific timing as well. It's a little setup. I had to go for it. I had no choice, Brosive. I didn't want to. Um, basically, you just have to wait for those particles to get to that jump height or that height. You have to be in that specific range and then shine spark before you get hit. Um, and then I look at Dragon's color to determine if I had a good opening. I assume Dragon's at 2550. Um, I took an extra hit there, which sucked. And right here, I was so nervous. My hands were shaking. So this is a double frame perfect trick. You have to on morph and then like eight frames later, press jump. And I got it first try. I just said I have to go for it. And let's just pray that I get it. So, <laughs> um, Good super missiles, not good health. I was a little bit nervous about that. I, I had to grab drops. Um, it was mandatory. Um, I have 112. Um, you can't make it across with 112. If I wouldn't have done this, I would have lost my all of my pace. I, well, not all of it. I would have lost the lead almost. So if my health is below one like 38 at the end of the fight, I have to go for that trick. There's no exception. And then I have to farm this and hope I get enough health. And uh, yeah, Mike, thanks for the gifted sub. Cerberus, thanks for the five months. That was, I think the fastest. It's either, it's like basically just coin flips. It's like 50 50s. Um, so yeah. A 3018 Dragon drops. I told myself not to look at the timer, and I know what eventually I did. I think I looked at it right out of the door. I said, All right, I'm going to be disciplined. I'm not going to look at the timer. And, you know, I immediately looked at it. Uh, thank you, Ola, for the 14 months. Um, that trick allows you to get across the, um, basically the full half on the way back. Thank you, everyone. Thank you. Um, I can't, I can't read everything right now. My brain is frying. I'm feeling some mental fatigue right now, I think. Um, let's see here. So at this point... Um, if you're wondering why I'm farming, I'm hoping for all health. Just, I wanted everything to be HP. Um. Because you can die in room one. And this doesn't lose you too much time, the one farm. Um, I was just going to stick to one and just hope that we got it. So I got one super and two HPs. That's pretty ideal. Um, I would have preferred all health, like I said, but... Thank you, Sauce Boss. Appreciate that. Uh, Oats, you didn't ship refill? Yeah, I didn't. Um, I messed this room up, but this room is very difficult when you're nervous. It's very tight timing, but nonetheless, it was all fine. I was, I was so nervous. My hands were shaking. I didn't want to look at the time at G4, which I did. Um, I was just trying to like find a way this was clutch as well so you only have you have one frame or two frames to on morph here and I think it's more difficult if you do what I did right there so I'm super happy we got that that's a it's like a two second time loss if you don't second and a half um Yeah, so 
The nice part, I, I lost some time after Dragon, and you can see it here. That's because I had to do the uh, spark suit. However, Dragon gave me some good supers, so it's kind of like a trade-off, essentially, you know, to where you take that risk. And sometimes you can get hooked up on supers. Sometimes you only get health. Sometimes you get a lot of missiles. Um, but yeah. But here's the thing. I failed to run the other day when I had six missiles entering yesterday. I didn't have enough at the very end, so it can happen. Um, thank you, Higa, for the 147. Make sure I'm not going to have a heart attack here. I'm, like, I'm feeling like I'm going to pass out. Oh, God. You guys are giving me heart palpitations. Oh, no. It's all over for me. Good thing we got it. Oh. Um, thanks for the six months. Uh, thanks for tier one, Devin. Uh, Ziggy, <laughs> thanks for the gifted sub. Xylev, thanks for 13. Binks with the 4036. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Really appreciate that. Uh, 3D Manana, thanks for the 600. Thank you for the message. We got into a car accident. Oh, man. I'm sorry to hear that. I hope everything's okay. Um. All right, just breathe. Yeah, that was, um, yeah, a lot of emotion. You're going to train for the 5K now? I've been training for the 5K every day. I ran my fastest mile today, 630. I almost ran two in a row as well. So, still training. Uh, Zero Gred, thanks for the 10. Two PBs, yeah. <clears throat> um, okay. So here, I'm very nervous because I've died in Metroid Room 1. I died in Metroid Room 2 the other day. Thank you, everyone. Um, thank you. Thank you. Um, so, yeah. Basically, you just have to let go of your inputs at a certain time here. You have to walk forward before pressing run, kind of group these ones up. Went really well. I got decent luck. I, you know, I was happy to see nine. So here I want to just see two so I can have 10 here so I can do this strat. And at this point, I'm shaking. My fingers aren't, I'm having to like slam the inputs so everything's precise because I'm jittery. I guess I'm so nervous. Um, thank you very much, Funky, for the 10 gifted subs. Appreciate that a lot. Um, and uh, so I did this strat. Basically, when I do this strat, I look to see if the Metroid, the second one is going to drop me um, a super. So I do look out for that. Um, but when I have 10, it's a little bit different. I commit um to that strat and that was really clean i was happy to hit that that's about a second faster and um this i'm gonna always super i need health and if i didn't get a super there i probably would have just been done i told myself i'm gonna super this and if i don't see one i don't even know what i'm gonna think i was gonna be so sad um, thanks for the resubs and congrats, everyone. Thank you for that. Uh, Moser, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you, thank you. I'm reading these messages. I just feel like I want to have a heart attack here, so I'm trying to just slow down a little bit because that was a lot of adrenaline. And yeah. All right. Um, I've been missing this strat. This is... Basically, I just, I press right, right as I'm landing, and then you have to press jump into the thing, press left, yeah. An annoying strat that's super easy to mess up. 
I also I closed the chat here. <laughs> I was I was very nervous and I thought maybe it would help. I never close the chat. Um, Remy Rem Rem, thanks for the five gifted subs. So this is I was so nervous here and I was shaking so bad. I thought that I lost the run right here. This is a scuffed Metroid skip. I messed up my first jump. The second jump was super tight. The third jump was bad and I was further to the right than I normally am. And then this jump is harder when you have more run speed. I was just, I basically just closed my eyes, I think. I don't know. It was, it was scary. Is there not a pet pictures channel? I don't know. We can make one though. We should, I thought we had one. Do we not? Um, Icarus. Thank you for the eight months. Um, Dabum, thanks for the five gifted subs. Thank you. Um, Don, thank you for the prime sub. We will, we will. All right, I feel like I'm gonna like pass out or something. I'm kind of lightheaded. I need to stop after this. Um, I think I need food. Um, this was weird. I'd never make this mistake. I was just very nervous. I'm, I'm almost done with this. So I do want to finish this. Um, yeah, it was a weird mistake. I don't even know what happened here, but I was so... I was just so nervous. Normally, I do the angle shot here. Uh, no, I'll be down in like... I'll be down after this run here. Or after this, we're almost done. Um, I was too nervous to do the angle shot, so I just took the loss. But I did want to commit to this down back skip. I'm super happy I got this first try. Um, I've been working on that a lot. Will you continue? Hell no. I just beat a three year standing record by nine seconds. I'm done. I, I'm so happy to be done. It ain't happening. I'm done. I'm done, done. <sighs> Um, the turret, so at this point, <laughs> yeah, I was watching the turrets like a hawk. If you look at my face, I'm just staring at them because this could destroy the run. So I luckily saw it come out at the very end. So here's, here's my thought process with these turrets after being destroyed so much and practicing. The moment it looks at me, and if it doesn't shoot right away, I'm expecting it to. If it doesn't shoot right away and it stays angled, it's going to shoot at some point. I expect the shot to come out around one or two supers left. So I kind of anticipate that. Um, what Happy Gilmore did? Oh, no. I'm, I am happy because it's done and I'm happy because of the time. It, this has definitely been the most stressful and the hardest thing I've ever done in this game. Uh, also at this point, I'm making dumb mistakes. Like the mother brain fight, I'm always very fine with and comfortable, but I'm, I'm very shaky. I'm the most nervous I've ever been. No, that was, uh, that was Nate that said he'd give me a thousand real cutie and he did. <laughs> um, so yeah, I was very nervous at this point and I told myself just to calm down and stop being a dumbass and just do everything like I normally do. At this point, I just try to zone out a little bit harder and just do the fight. The fight wasn't that great. I did lose time, but I also didn't do the strat that I came up with. If I would have, I think we would have saved like another three seconds or four seconds and this time could have been a, a, a 32 or a 33, which is stupid. I'll take the 36. <laughs> um. No, I'm good. I'm almost done. I'm gonna I'm gonna be done after this. I do have a bev. Um, so at this point, normally I would have jumped right here on this shot, and that would have actually prevented this bomb from coming out. And that would have saved us all this time. 
I wish I would have, but at the same time, it's scary because you can get ketchup. You have to jump in such a way to where the ketchup shot is happening while you're in the air and you fall fast enough to not get hit. And I was just too nervous to like I, properly execute that kind of thing. Yes, yes. Um, I have a lot of stuff planned. Um, the first thing I have planned is to go eat and relax because I feel very lightheaded right now. Uh, thank you, Grand, for the Prime sub. Um, I'm going to fast forward past this. Um, this is just kind of a stupid fight. Um... I try to buffer a shot right here. Um, you can buffer it, but and then you you want to not be too far forward. Um, I have some um, hibachi. I have chicken hibachi with a side salad in the fridge right now. I got some some takeout earlier. Um, that was a very good fight. I I was super zoned in at that point. I wanted the fight to be clean. Um, my escape was actually very good according to my time here a joey with the five gifted subs thank you hey i'd rather have chicken hibachi so personally um and at this point there's a lot going through my mind because i'm like this is the last escape potentially but if i mess something up it can snowball really badly the main thing i was worried about was this this room um if I don't um, do this properly and shoot immediately right there, you can fall all the way down. And it's just so bad. I was worried <clears throat> that that would happen, but thank you for the 1000 chaos. Um, this, I normally try to do a very precise, like I hold L and then snap to that ledge. So I was super, I was very happy that I got that clean. And then that sets up this room this room went clean you want to hug the right wall and i i did it properly um i did mess this up right yeah a little bit but i corrected it um this is always giving me trouble but i just i just said i'm just gonna do the the normal ball strat here and um luckily we got decent steam and uh yeah this is it i was trying to get the the cool entrance and that was it. Eh, shut up, dork. It's a video game. Yeah, quit your crying. I just, at this point, I felt so much relief. Um, it was, it was just an incredible amount of relief because I was starting to feel burnout slightly. And I was worried that, um, that I would be burnt out within a month. So that's why I've been like trying to stream longer hours this last week. Um, yeah, I just wanted to get like really into it and just try. Um, but yeah, I, couple things before I leave because I, I need to go get food in me and chill. Um what was the what was the in game time? I gotta see this in the in this chat. Well well it was a twenty seven, yeah no I know but uh doesn't fun tune say is it twenty eight oh it's what Twenty twenty seven twenty four. Woo! That's good. Okay. All right. Final words. I just want to thank everyone for uh continuing just the support and um it is a community effort and I wouldn't without the stream I wouldn't be doing this. i I would never want to run and speed run without the community aspect of it. So it's been a lot of fun and this is definitely one of my uh, better achievements in this game and it feels really good 
so thanks for sticking with me and when I'm crabby and when I, you know, start yelling at people for asking the same question 30 times in the same stream. Um, so yeah, thanks everyone. Really appreciate it. It's been a lot of fun. Um, with that being said, what's next? Um, ROM hacks, randos, dread rando. Um, I want to make a tutorial before I get rusty now with any percent. I'm, I'm not going to run any percent for three to six years. I'm done with this. Um, I'm going to start grinding 100% offline for the next few months. I'm not joining the tournament because I'm worried about burnout. I just need to take a break from speedruns. Um, I'm going to be playing just uh, like Zelda. I'm going to be catching up on stuff, Dead Space, um, Power Wash Simulator, um, ROM hacks. I said that. It's a lot of stuff. I just want to catch up and just chill. Um, I want to have some fun. So I do enjoy and I do greatly miss the relaxing well, Power Wash Simulator streams aren't so relaxing. I do miss those streams, though. They're a lot of fun, and I've been very focused on this, so I am done. I am done with this. No more any percent. I will be rewatching, or I will be, I will be redoing and in, in, uh, running 100%, though, in the near future. Oh, okay. Thanks, everyone. Seriously. It's bittersweet. Um, I'm so happy to be done, though. Bye, everybody. Thank you so much. Really. I really appreciate it.